what makes the Keystone Corridor worthwhile? You're looking at a line that, uh, that has architectural, historic, and functional assets that are incomparable. It carries three types of traffic. It has three sources of revenue. It uses electric current that is produced in non-polluting way. The main source of the juice that is being used on the line, it comes from the Susquehanna River because of its hydraulic power. It doesn't pollute anything and anybody. You have the essential making of a high-speed line. You've got the great separation, which means you know, you're not waiting at a at, at great crossing for the train to come. If you don't have a great crossing, you don't have to sound the horn. That's wonderful. Then it means the train goes through all these little places along the main line basically unnoticed. The other aspect is it gives you an option. We now have a lot of petroleum coming in from foreign countries. I think 60% of the petroleum import in the United States comes from abroad. So the question then is, well, what happens if uh, all of a sudden the gas price jumps because these supplies are being constricted or cut off? Uh, well, the rail will come back in a hurry. This is really the plum of the pudding. We've completed this Keystone Corridor project on time and with the money that was set aside. That is unheard of for rail projects.